Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Craft Stash Live. It's Friday. I don't, it's Friday the 2nd. I just had a feeling it was Friday the 13th. It's not, thank goodness for that. It's Friday the 2nd and it's December, so we're getting close to the big day. But we have got a really, it's, I say this every time, we've got a really exciting launch for you. We've not as such got a new launch for you today. Sam and I actually decided that as I'd say ex fairly experienced crafters. One thing we very rarely touch on is all of the uh, tools, the essentials that we use all the time. And we're really, really lucky at Craft Stash to have a fantastic own brand called Creative Craft Products. So what we're gonna do for you today is try to run through, I can't say all of them because there's literally hundreds, but all, almost all of the Creative Craft Products products that's a bit of a mouthful i've got sam calcott with me she's waiting in the wings as well we've got giveaways as well but this is just to kind of um allow you to really no notice realize what we've got um online at craft stash that just it just sits there all the time and there's such amazingly amazingly priced amazing value items that work really well because they've been developed by crafters tested by crafters and are used by myself sam helen griffin christina griffiths um all basically all of the design team and the designers and the workers the um what are we call them the employees at craft stash all the time they're absolutely fabulous and I just realized we'd had we'd never had a live just on these essential tools we have also got some of your favorite nesting dies back in stock today so sam's going to be running through a few of those as well a couple of her favorites now i need to draw your attention to here because i noticed something online this morning as well when i got my email through which by the way if you're not signed up to the emails make sure you are from craft stash because you just literally get all the best deals dropping into your inbox first thing in the morning that's it you don't get loads and loads of spammy emails anything like that they just let you know what the best offers are of the day if there's new launches or anything and so on now so we've got today this is the offer the main offer for me today and it's 20 percent off of some christmas products now if you haven't started christmas shopping or maybe you or you've maybe started your christmas crafting and you've realized actually I'm missing a few bits, I need to do X, Y, Z still. Uh, pop in that code, Xmas20, you'll get 20% off some of your items. So all the details are online, but I just want to flag that up for you there in case you don't get the emails. But this one's the fun one. Look at this big red one here. So we have got uh, two £25 vouchers coming out to two of you today, so one each today. Um, and that is to spend on any of the Creative Craft Products items. And then we've got another chance to win as well. So if you're watching this, catching up and not watching live, you'll also have your chance to win. I'm just going to do a very quick hello to people. Um, I'm over on YouTube here. Actually, I need to just, bear with me, I just need to get... Oh, I closed it down. I said to Sam, I've got it already. I've got um, I've got the Facebook chat there in the window just beside, so I can see that there. I can see YouTube here, and I went and closed the window down, so I haven't got it. I'll do it while Sam's uh, showing you things. I'll get it all there again. So over on YouTube, hello to Fiona, uh, Fairy Crafter. Hello to Pooja. Hello to uh, Gillian Godfrey. Everyone's saying hello. Thank you so much. Louise, yes. Um, we are all well i'm glad you are i'm glad you are um gemma gemma lee crafts hi everyone pop in to say hi she can't say she stay she's meeting a friend for a coffee um yeah lovely enjoy yourself gemma but if you haven't already seen it gemma lee crafts is actually on the design team or such uh the design for um sam's products she is an absolutely amazing beautiful products but she's also building her youtube channel so if you get chance Gemma Lee crafts go find her on youtube and um give her a like and you'll see lots of inspiration with made of surprise items and others as well i know she does lots of other brands from craft Sash too debbie main uh fatima lindaworth lots of you who are joining nancy is in is um from canadian do you mean canada maybe perhaps from Canada it's 7 32 a.m well good morning to you I uh, hope you have a good day we're already at lunchtime and I'm starving so um let's go and say hello and did you know what I'm gonna go say hello to Sam's hands and then we'll come back and get started um because we've just got some waving hands there <laughs> rather than her face bear with me let me click actually click my mouse there we go hi Sam how are you hey I'm good thank you good, good, how good. is everyone um i think it looks by the comments that everyone is all good um so what are you going to be can you give us a sneak peek what you're going to be showing us today if we stay tuned um so i'm going to be using these Ooh. and Lovely. i love how i've already got nice and colored so these are the stencil brushes and i'm going to be using a stencil which i just went to 
start using during a Facebook Live on Wednesday and then I got booted out and I'm in Facebook prison. So right now I can't do anything on Facebook apart oh. from come onto this via lose link. Um, but I'm going to finish or start the card that I didn't get able to finish using these. And then I'm going to do a fun little 3D card using the nesting dice. Fabulous. Uh, can't wait for that sound. We're going to flip flop between the two of us today. So uh, lots of chat and inspiration. So we'll come back to you in a few moments if that's okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so you've got me and Sam today. Now, Sam's doing demos because that's just what she does. What I'm going to do is I've got this massive pile. In fact, come on down to my desk so you can see kind of what I've started to get prepared. Now, I just went through all my items and I picked out loads of my Creative Craft products items for you. All of my favorite ones. If you see any of my YouTube videos or my Craft World videos, I use these all, all the time. Um, but some of you may just assume that I've grabbed them from elsewhere. We actually have all of these on stock at Craft Stash all the time. They're fantastic prices as well. And I can say that because we, I know what sort of prices they are, what quantities we order them in as well to keep them nice and low for you. So I'm going to run through a few of my favorites of these and just really make you aware of them. So shall I start first of all with adhesive? Now, if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of those two 25 pound vouchers, and that's simply going to be uh, an e a voucher code emailed to you for you to use against any co uh, creative craft products, products. This is going to be difficult today. <laughs> especially on a Friday afternoon. Uh, we tend to call it CCP, which if, if you catch me saying CCP, it's abbreviated Creative Craft Products, okay? So uh, please don't pick me up on that. But if you want to be in with a chance of winning, all I want, want you to do or ask you to do is comment. Now, I will pick a winner from YouTube. I'll pick a winner from Facebook. Um, please comment and let me know if you've tried any Creative Craft products before, which are your favorite items, which are your go-tos. Let other people know because there's hundreds here that we have got online. I, we just can't show you in an hour. So I've only picked my favorites. And let everybody know what else you're using too. I'm gonna start in the top corner. I think I'll just work my way around. As uh, Sam said, she's going to be using the stencil brushes. Obviously we do also have larger blending brushes. We have the stand for the brushes as well, so on and so forth. But I'm going to start up here with the uh, adhesive. So did you know we are we have so many adhesives from here you go creative craft products So we have got your red liner tape now this all comes do you know I haven't actually got prices for you if I was clever I could have got all the prices ready for you You'll find them all online anyway under craft essentials um, But we have red liner tape we have them in varying thicknesses these come in a pack of three so three different thicknesses in one pack we also have foam tape. Now, if you have ever watched any of my videos and I've used foam tape, I will say how much I love this. Now, these are clearly used rolls. Everything here is used, so you will get it. Things are a little bit cleaner than this. Um, but for example, you've got the really wide foam tape and you've got the thinner foam tape. We've also got thinner and thinner and such like. But these are my two go-tos. And the reason I love these is because the backing paper just comes away so easily. You can cut them with your scissors. You don't get loads of gunky residue on them. They stick really well. Look, I've just stuck that to my finger. They stick really well. I know some foam tapes, they're not quite as sticky as you'd like them to be. Um, and you need to add glue and things. You really don't with these. Again, super duper affordable affordable. Now Creative Craft Products have just reinvigorated their glue. It used to be called the Craft Stash Glue. Now I have gone ahead and I've lost my lid but that's purely because my craft room is in a complete mess at the moment. Yes, gasp, shock horror, I have let my craft room get into a mess. Um, but the Creative Craft Products glue, uh, the lid is somewhere but it's still not gunked up. I don't know if you can see that, it's still not gunked up which woo, I'm going to squeeze a bit out the end. So this is the fine, t fine tip applicator on one end it's a fantastic sticky glue and then you've got the spreader on the other end I need to clean mine up and stop putting the lid back on while there's still glue around it that's my fault um, but this glue I found doesn't warp your paper doesn't wrinkle your paper because you've got the spreader you you're not over applying the actual um, consistency of the glue is perfect for what I need it for just for gluing layers of paper matting and layering things uh, it holds sequins on things like that it dries clear super important and it dries quickly as well um, so a tube like this is only I think it's something ridiculous like 2 dollars so I'd stock up on those it is a new and improved version of our craft stash glue we all got together and decided that actually we thought the glue could be improved a little while ago it was it went through rigorous testing and this is what we've come up with I know I use it Sam uses it Christina uses it all of us we love it now for me it's my equivalent to Sizzix Express glue and Cosmic Shimmer 
I'm, if I've got the three bottles, I'll pick any one of those three up. Doesn't they all absolutely wonderful? So love that. This is just much cheaper. Um, and then we've got the Creative Craft Products foam. Now this is ridiculous. This is just a handful of the different pads and sheets that you can get. Again, just like the foam rolls, the backing just comes away super easily, which for me is a must, especially when you're dealing with the little foam pads. We've got all of them in black and white, but pro probably my most used after the rolls of tape are these, and they're the sheets. Now these are, there's three black sheets or three white sheets in each pack. They're A5 in size. They're adhesive on both sides, which you'd expect, but they've got the cover on so you can die cut them okay so you can run these through your die cutting machine I tend to use them I haven't actually got an example to hand but I tend to use them for things like my sentiments in either black or white depending on what color sentiment I'm putting on my card and I'll die cut the sentiment and then I'll put my my cardstock sentiment on top of the die cut foam and you can save all the little bits from around your die cut as tiny little foam bits as well so absolutely love them again super affordable um, I could keep going with adhesives I'm probably going to do tools next so Sam I think we'll come to you if that's okay and we'll have a bit of a demo a nice slower pace because I could whiz through these all day and I will have a look at some of the comments while we're doing that so we're back to you Sam Cool, thank you. Right, so if you joined me on Wednesday over on my Mixed Up Craft page, you would have seen me place this down on a piece of card and then I disappeared. So I thought I would go back to this one and use the stencil brushes. So this stencil here is from my Christmas Paper Craft Society kit mm -hmm. and it's a lovely um, image of twisted Christmas lights. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit this, it's five by seven. And it sits perfectly on a five by seven card blank. So this is just a single layer card that I'm making. And it's just got the stencil on. Now I have sprayed it whilst Lou was chatting. I sprayed it with some stick and spray. So that's now all in place. So I can start to add all the different colored inks. So I thought this was quite a nice way to show off how to use the stencil brushes and um, just do yeah. a little bit more detail. The stencil brushes are quite new, aren't they? Oh. They only came out. Um, I didn't realise you were still listening. In. Yes, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Don't make I didn't realise you were still listening in like that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Anyway, okay. So, <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. So I've got a selection of colours here, just the distressed oxide, and these are the brushes. So these are relatively new. I think September these ones possibly went onto the website mm -hmm. and you get a set of 12 there and you can see mine already get used and um, we've got the colors what I'm probably going to do is purchase another set myself and um, just so I've got maybe like a just more of a you know if I've got like browns and blacks I haven't got one for those um, and just like some purples I don't really have them represented yet in the the, the brushes however you can just run these under the tap and um, you know, until the water runs clear and then they'll be fine then to use with you know, um, other colors. But the good thing about if you can have one for each color is then you're never really wasting any pigment because I could put that down now and it's gonna you know, still have some color left. Lovely. So let's go with, I'm gonna lay down all of the colors first because these are gonna be lighter and then I'm gonna go for a dark green for the wire and the, the plug and things like that. So. I'm just going to load up my brush. I might just grab just a little bit of scrap just to check that I've got it loaded up enough. Um, so, and then I'm just going to go over the brushes. It doesn't matter if I go into like the little hat area because that's going to have the darker green on top. And I'm not after precision with this. Like if the colors kind of bleed in, it doesn't matter. Once you reveal it and peel it off, it's, it's going to look great. I'm just going to spread out the colours. So we'll do a yellow one over here. So Lynn Price says she's and interested. What I've also done. Sorry. We have a slight delay, don't we, Sam? We noticed earlier. So I apologise yeah. if I talk over you. I was just <laughs> saying, Lynn, Lynn Price says she's interested in the stencil brushes. She's never used them before. Um, and the same with Debbie Main. She'd, she'd love them too. So I didn't realise. See, we assume, Sam, don't we, that when something's online at Craft yeah. Stash and we use them all the time, that everybody's seen them. And of course, you haven't. Yep. No, they're really easy to use. As you can see, I'm just loading up with the colour and then I'm just applying it where I want it. So if you've got some beautiful floral stencils, if you've got um, maybe some wording on your stencils and you want to have that a different colour to, to everything else, mm. 
then you know these kind of brushes are great and what you can also do so where that's quite dark if i went in now with a darker navy i could do a little bit of blending onto that just maybe just focus on like the top area there same with the yellow i could go in with a little bit of orange and kind of blend it just to give them more depth i'm not going to do that today i'm just going to keep it just nice and simple just so you can see how easy they are to use mm -hmm. and i'm going to probably use the little foam uh, buds which are also um on the part of the, the creative dorbers. craft brand because these have got a yeah these have got a little point you can get right into the, the little areas and also these ones here as well so i might bring in some of those in a minute so what we got there through uh two i need one more blue somewhere let's do down here and what i've also done just beforehand is i've just um placed down a strip of masking sheet there because i'm going to peel that off afterwards and that's where i'm going to stamp my sentiment uh, I, I did okay. wonder why the tape's across there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to not say, and then I thought, no, I'd let people know in case they're asking. So let's see, let's do pink. And do this one up here. And the oxides are just, you can use any inks, but oxides are nice because they are a pigment ink, so they stay wet a little bit longer, so you can blend them. You've just got that little bit more time with them. And there's loads of colours as well. Yeah. They keep releasing more and more colours, and I'm like, no, I've just done my charts and my little swatches, and they bring out more, and I'm like... Which one's your favourite, then? Um, probably this one, Picked Raspberry, and I also love Seedless Preserves. Mm. I use that a lot. Um, and then I've also I've used Vintage Photo for years. It's just a good one when I'm using Craft Card, if you want to, like, distress kind of little, you know, areas and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Quite a few of them and i haven't i've just got the new saltwater taffy as well oh yeah no green that's right um so yeah there's i mean there's loads and the new lumberjack as well i haven't used that oh, yet I haven't even I opened know. It. yeah so. i you always think don't you like oh, i've got i've got three or four reds i don't need another red and then one comes along and think, oh I, yeah it's <laughs> different i need it yeah just that little bit different okay didn't realize just how many lights there are on this actually but it's all right we're not we're not rushing that's fine i'm just to... gonna while you're just doing doing that i'm just gonna flip back and show everybody who's just joined us because we've had an influx of people yeah. joining uh the details Favorite. for winning and stuff so we're back with you in a second um so just while sam's carrying on with her stencil brushes you'll see the effect in a moment when she reveals it which i'm excited for um we have got off of christmas products and that may include the stencil that sam's using i'm not sure what's included in that sale go and have a look the details will all be online but you can get 20 percent of christmas products using the code xmas20 and if you've just joined us we are giving away live today two 25 pound craft stash vouchers now these are going to be to use across <laughs> this is going to be fun today creative craft products products so craft stash vouchers for creative craft products items <laughs> there we go so two vouchers for you to win today one from facebook one from youtube just be commenting what you love about the creative craft products items um which is your favorite which you've used which you would buy if you won all this sorts of thing let people know what your favorites are um and then i will direct you at the end to somewhere where you can also enter to win for later on and that's if you're not watching this live and catching up let's go back to sam see how she's getting on with her blending She's getting okay, there. Okay, we're nearly, nearly done with the, yeah. Baubles are nearly done, and then I'm just going to go over it all with the, that darker green. I mean, you could use black, but I just, when I've got all my Christmas lights, I'm always on a green string, so I'm yeah. just trying to keep it um, as close as that. And then we've got one little bit there. Let's bring in, back in the pink, just for down in this corner here. And then I think I've got them all. Yeah, that looks about right. You can't really see. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that one. You won't notice that. Right, let's take the darkest green here. And I'm going to just try first for the point using a fresh one of the little finger daubers, the triangle ones. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to help me get right into the corner. And we'll start with the, the plug first. So I'm just angling this one just so I can focus on the tops of each of the baubles. Like I said, I'm not know. worried if the colour does kind of transfer. Right, yeah. Transfer, transfer. You just got me thinking about I'm that. Of course the wire is green because it's supposed to go around Christmas trees. That makes Matches sense. Matches your tree. Mm. Yeah. 
Um, if everybody, uh, if right. anybody wants to kind of jump ahead of us and look at all the Creative Craft products that we've got, because it's probably not a brand that you often go to have a look at. It is under the brand page online. So if you go to brands in the top, uh, in the menu bar, in the in the top, go to brands and it's all alphabetical. So pop to Creative Craft products and you'll see everything we're talking about today. And when I'm talking about the amazing prices, honestly, you'll be blown away at some of these. So I'm just going to have a little look and see if I can find out how much the stencil brushes are at the moment because they, obviously they do um, vary. So uh, just bear with me while I do that. Product is it type. still on me or is it on yeah, you? Yeah, 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 you're still there. Don't worry, I'm just talking over you. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. No, that's fine. I, 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 you know, I'll, I'll go quiet when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, it's hard for you to see this, but it's really easy, especially if you've got these little triangle ones here, to just focus on those smaller areas. I mean, this is such a detailed little stencil. So I think it's a great example. Mm. So and, prices. Uh, I don't worry if you've gone over... Sorry, go on. Um, the price no, is no, twelve ninety nine for the stencil brushes, um, and you do get twelve in there. That's, so that's an absolute bargain. Um, and the foam daubers that you can see Sam using there, so you've got forty in there. So it's twenty circle, twenty triangle, plus the box as well. The carry case comes with it, and they're only sixteen ninety nine, and that's got ten five star reviews on it. Yeah, I use it a lot. The um, the little dauber ones. Again, people watch me live. I kind of get, you know, flip between all kinds of bits and pieces. Mm. And it's just, I genuinely use the Creative Craft product stuff a lot. Um, yeah, we do. Know, regardless we do. that, obviously, work for the brands, we, you know, we do genuinely like them. This is the thing. And we don't often mm. do a dedicated show for the brand. And yet we use it all day, every day. Yeah. And I know lots of people like the stamping platform mm -hmm. and um, I was actually I'm going to fill that come in with... to the stamping platform next because um, somebody or well, lots of people have mentioned it um, and I just noticed yeah. that's that's a really good price and that's got 18 five star reviews on it that's saying something that's one yeah, thing we, I must admit our yeah. reviews are genuine purchasers purchasers from genuine purchasers uh, yeah. which I love so you get a really honest review of each product when you look at it online okay I think I've done it all I was just going over there where I'd gone in a bit too heavier with the green where I would have liked but I think overall we've got it all done so let's do the reveal mm -hmm. pull that to one side okay oh so it's a low tack um, spray adhesive because it's covering the whole top yeah. I can't see where the edges uh, okay, it's a fun suspense. game to get it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. Oh, it's it so different. Good. Oh, I love it. And then let's take off this one. And that's where I'm going to pop my sentiment. Gorgeous. <laughs> Fabulous. Absolutely amazing. And do you know what? You're not been... achievable unless you've got. The brushes, right. um, the little brushes, just yeah. make You them. would really struggle. Yeah, absolutely. You would really struggle to do it. So now I'm going to use the stamping platform just to quickly stamp my sentiment, but I won't go into it because I'll let Lou do that. So I thought the perfect sentiment is from my Christmas sentiment, and it's the let's get lit. <laughs> so let's get lit. I thought, yeah, let's get modern, lit. So that's quite one. a modern phrase, isn't it? It's nice to right see now. something different on the as yeah. a sentiment. So again, you could do mats and layers and all that kind of fancy stuff with it, but I just wanted to just focus on the um, those uh, little stencils there. And then, so yeah, if you've got the kit, you've got this stencil and you've not used it yet, then get it out, use it. Mm. There we go. Just a real simple one. Could be a nice party invitation over the Christmas period. There you go. Let's get lit. Lovely, absolutely beautiful. Love it. Thank you, Sam. Um, we're going to come back to you to look at some nesties in a little while, aren't we? Yep. Yep. There is a delay. Sam's not just like just ignoring me. <laughs> it's a delay. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute, Sam. <laughs> So the stamping platform, Sam's just touched on it in very quickly shown. I've got lots of people asking what size it is and how much they love it. So let's go to this next. 
Um, so mine's dirty, of course it is. It's not cleaned up, it's used. I just use it all the time. In fact, I use it so much, I've got two. I keep one in my tote that I take to the TV studios and such. And in fact, talking of t TV studios, when we took this, the scoreboard and the trimmer on the TV, uh, earlier this year, we allowed it to go on for a, a, a little bit. Um, they're not on there now, by the way, don't bother looking. We've got them exclusively at Craft Sash. They sold out in like before the end of the hour. It was ridiculous. They sold out so, so quickly. The same as the finger daubers as well that Sam was just using too. So uh, it just goes to show what amazing value these are. So this is $22.99. Now it does have, so somebody asked, uh, sorry, I didn't catch your name, but somebody asked about the size of it. Um, it has got a grid on it, so you've got your measurements. It's around six inches by eight inches. You've got a little bit more because you have got the uh, the lift the lifty tab there, and of course you've got the hinges. But the actual stamping size, I don't know why I got my ruler out because I've got a grid on there, is uh, eight by six inches. So loads and loads of room. As you've seen, you've got the grid on there. The grid is in me measurements of inches and centimetres too. You have your magnetic um, base there, as you can see. You have on the underneath the foam backing. So the foam backing is going to allow it not to slide around. So when you're stamping, look, it's not moving about. It's not sliding. Uh, but if it was plastic, you see it would. So uh, that's on there. We've got the hinges that actually properly move out the way as well. Now, what's really good about this particular platform for me is when you fold it over, you don't automatically stamp onto your cardstock. So if my paper's in there and I've got a stamp on here, I fold it over. I don't know if you can just see, we've got a little, almost bumpers here. Now these stop your stamp from touching your paper, there's a gap in there. So you can have a look and you can see whether it's lined up on your card, your paper, your project before you then press down, okay? And when you press down, these bits depress in and that's where you put the pressure on. Again, it's even pressure, so wherever you press on the platform, the whole thing all bumps down at the same time. I absolutely love this. I can't. I can't um, reiterate enough how much I've used, well you can see how much I've used, it's filthy. I haven't yet found a stamp that's too big to go in it. I haven't found a platform that I prefer using. This is me speaking absolutely honestly, but like I say, uh, $22.99. This one has 18 five star reviews on it at the moment. Now, you also have the option, I don't have it here with me actually, for about £4.50 more to get this alongside the media plate. Now the media plate is a thin rubber plate that you can attach to uh, here on your stamping platform and you can use that for almost a bit like gel plate technique. So you apply your ink on here. You can do the kiss stamping technique, things like that. So all you need to do to see that, because I haven't got it with me, I'm not going to demo all of that today. We've got a lot to get through. If you go to the, um, if you're on Craft Stash and you go to the product page for the stamping platform or the stamping platform plus the um, stamping plate, sorry, it's called a stamping plate. It's a bundle. Go to that. There is a video there and that talks you through all the things that the stamping plate does. So for an extra £4.50, well worth if you like your kind of mixed media and your inky backgrounds, things like that and just different stamping techniques. So that's the stamping platform. While I'm on tools, I'm also going to go, yeah, it's a great price, isn't it? Uh, who's that? Teresa, sorry, I haven't got my glasses on. I'm trying to read the screen, it's miles away from me. Teresa says it's a great price. Um, Tracy says fabulous tool. Yeah, it is, absolutely is. Um, let me just see, I'm just gonna scroll up because I just saw another one. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, okay. So you're talking about another brand saying that it's not as good. Okay, I won't read. That. I won't read that out. We don't. We don't talk like live publicly about other brands. We're talking about creative craft products today. But it's good to know. It's good to know that you think that ours is good. So the trimmer. Now the trimmer again. I'm just going to scroll up and see, or I'm going to have a look and see if I can find out how much the trimmer is because I always know. I have a rough idea, but I don't want to get it wrong. So just pop in trimmer into your search on Craft Stash and it's on the f one of the first ones there, 19.99. There's seven five-star reviews on there. Uh, when I say so many five-star reviews, there are no other reviews. There's no four-star, three-star, anything like that. That's it. All of the seven reviews on here are five-star. Now the trimmer is brilliant. If you if you watch if you go to Craft World and you see um, the videos that I do every week, if I use a trimmer, I often tend to use the scoring blade. 
it's fabulous because you've got the um, the cutting blade is the orange one, the scoring blade is the white one, they can tuck up out the way. So it's not a case of having to actually remove them before you go and do the next thing. So if you're cutting and scoring, you haven't got to keep taking one out, putting the next one in. They just sit at the ends out of the way, so you're free to use the other one right up as far as it needs to go. You do get replacement blades for these, or they are available as well, and they're really, really inexpensive too, so you can grab those. Um, yeah, $19.99 for this, so you've got the lip there, easy to pop your paper in and out. You've got the arm on here, so your arm just pulls out here. There you go, and it, what I love is it just clicks into place. Okay, you haven't got to worry about putting legs down or anything like that. This then reaches just over 17 inches, and down here it then reaches just over 12 so if you are into your scrapbooking or you do purchase 12 by 12 cardstock and you cut into that and things like that you're going to have loads and loads of space here it does have a hook for hanging as well um, I think that's everything on here you can see you've got your guidelines it is what it is it's a trimmer the blade so far I have not yet replaced my blade I'm still using the first blade that I got now I had this when it first came out which we're talking earlier this, like earlier, Easter, maybe even earlier than that this year. This came out for the Creative Craft Products range and I've had the same blade in there ever since. And you know how much I craft. So they are two of the tools. I think I'm going to quickly do one more tool and then I'll do your little itty bitty um, pieces at the end after Sam's demo. Now this one, I have to make an apology with this one because I have lost a bit of it. That's my fault. I think I've actually left it at the studio somewhere else. I've had a tidy up today a little bit trying to look for it. Um, yeah, and it's still missing. So Sam can show you on hers, actually. She's, she's uh, got hers to hand. So this is the Creative Craft Products 12 inch scoreboard, but it's also a box and envelope maker. So it's your regular scoreboard, as you can see. You've got your, um, is it an eighth? It's sixteenth of an inch increments all the way across up to 12 inches and the same is 12 inches down if you prefer to work in centimeters you have got centimeters engraved on these two edges too so you can see those and if i turn this over you'll see here you've got the removable template and here sits your scoring tool which is brilliant it works really well it just likes to hide sometimes um, so all you do with this is it has grooves in here all of your instructions for boxes are on here Okay, so for example, if I want to make a box that is two inches by four inches by one inch, okay, so it's a rectangular box, let's make it easier, an eight by eight box that's one inch deep, I will just follow along. So I'll start with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, I will score the base lines at one and two inches, and then I've got the inches to score the lid lines as well, because you'll need to do two, th two pieces. And when it comes to doing envelopes, you can pop this anywhere on the scoreboard it just sits in it sits in the grooves but you can then so it will tell you so for example if we want to do uh, an envelope we want to do an envelope that's for a5 four, four by six inches it's got in, in brackets a5 there it will tell you what size paper to start with and it will tell you where the scale mark needs to be okay so your scale mark is do, 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 where's this one uh, three and three eighths. I don't know why that sounded so difficult for me to work out three and three eighths. So what you'll do is you'll put this, your, your paper diagonally across here. Now there's all instructions on this. Again, go to the product page um, for on Craft Stash and you'll see a video down the bottom. This will explain it all to you. It's much, much quicker. You'll put your paper up against this guide. Okay, so this is your scale mark at three and three eighths and then you'll use that as your guide to score down from here. Score, see, arrow score, there we go. Sounds really complicated, it's really not. Everything you need is on the box, on the template, and in the video that I've created over on the website. Uh, now let's have a look at this one and see what the price is for this. And I believe this comes in bundles too, while well, I'm just popping it away. Um, let me see, so this is, do you know what? It's a scoreboard, it's a, an envelope maker, and it's a box maker as well, and it's only £20.82. pence. I mean, how fabulous is that? For all of that, and you get the scoring tools as well with it. Uh, you then also get the option of uh, the gift box maker bundle as well for £26.66, but you'll see all the options online. 
Right, I think I've talked for 10 minutes straight. Sam, I'm gonna come back to you if that's okay, because I can see you've got yours there. Hopefully yours is intact and you have all the pieces with it. <laughs> yes, I do have everything with it. I just wanted to also bring this one back in. I've just covered it with my accent ah. glaze. And you can see, hopefully that's picking up all that lovely yeah, shine. Oh, I'll get a photo of this and I'll pop it onto my TikTok. I've just realized I've missed a... Uh, a bauble there so i'll go back and do that one um okay yeah so um the scoreboard here now i'm going to be completely honest because again me and lou are very honest it is a great scoreboard i've actually had one very similar to this before and i used it in my early youtube videos and you can see that so i love this scoreboard i've just got another one that i just grab all the time that's just very easy which is what you see me use now but if you've never owned a scoreboard then this is one I would still recommend because it is a lovely scoreboard. And like Lou said, the fact that it's got the box maker, the envelope maker and the scoreboard is really good because I've got all of those things separate. So if you are just starting off and you're limited on space, then I think it will be good for that reason because it does yeah. do so much. And just to show you, that's your little score tool there that Lou's lost. <laughs> <laughs> that be the one. You've got mine. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah so that's the the little bit there on the scoreboard so what i thought i would do today is i'm going to make just a fun fold quick little card using the nesting dies so if you've not seen me shout about the nesting dies over the last maybe six seven months then i will just show you just some of them i've got four <laughs> piles because there's so many different um shapes let's we'll talk about those quickly in a moment but you've got for example here you've got your super they're all super size um so they go from as small as i think like two by two up to eight by eight card size yeah. whereas a lot of nested dies on the market will stay within the smaller size cards so the fact that you've got them going that big is it's all there yeah. i think it's really good so for example you've got a scallop one now the packagings vary because we've still got some with the old packaging um i've got some with the really old purple packaging um and then we've got some now that come in the nice envelopes which are easy to store as well but just to give you an example here are some of the, the shapes you've got oxygen you've got hearts you've got gift tags i've not even used these and i was putting this all out i'm going to keep this to one side so i can use it for christmas cards um christmas tags got bunting there which i think is really good if you like to do party decor and then you've got hexagon and stars. There's also squares, rectangles, and circles. But I don't have those ones in the scalloped uh, pattern. You've also then got your plane. So if you just want your simple, um, you know, design, you mm -hmm. can. This is the new packaging now, so you can see it's much easier to store away. So nice. your hexagon there, primitive hearts. It's nice. I'd say that's quite a modern heart. Nice and slim line. Yeah, quite contemporary. You've got stars and hearts again this is also in squares circles rectangles ovals um you've got torn nestables here so if you like that if you like to do my shabby chic cards shabby chic did i say shabby shabby chic you did shabby... <laughs> i can't even say it now shabby i've got to be careful now i'm shabby chic cards these are great and i think if you've got a lot of daisy may kind of stamps she yeah. used this style a lot on her card making as well so you've got there the stars ovals hexagons octagons and hearts but again there's also squares circles and rectangles um then you've got two of my favorites and the ones i'm going to be using today are these ones here and they're the inverted scallops and the filigree border now a lot of these actually coordinate together the inverted scallops coordinate really well with the simple straight edge the filigree and the actual scallop shape as well and you can create some really lovely effects which i have shared before in past tutorials and again this is all the newer packaging but you've got the octagon there you've got a dl which is nice mm. and you've got a slim line hexagon You've got nested circles there, rectangles, ovals, and squares. And there's probably some more as well. Yeah. I've literally got them. <laughs> you can see nested dies coming out of my ears. But they're all slightly different. And um, there's always something then for, you know, we're always after that one thing that's just right. And then these are the filigree. And they're beautiful, really nice. I just, um, well, I'm going to be using it anyway. But you just have this really pretty, I'll just show you on a little bit of what I'm going to be making. 
that gorgeous detail there. And you can see how I've put the scallop die in the middle. So they coordinate really well together. Mm. So you can mix and match them to create, you know, different little toppers and things like that. So you can lovely. see how that one looks. Yeah, really, really nice. So that's the, um, the nesting dies. And I'll go back to that in a second. I just wanted to also touch on the card dies that make your cards for you. Um, again, I've shared pretty much all of these now on the channel. And um, I know probably some of these have sold out now, but they're always bringing out new ones. And I know we've got some really popular ones that sold out are coming back in the new year. Yeah, so keep we've an actually eye out for them. Had, do what um, we're doing. We've actually had a big restock today, haven't we, of a lot of them. Yeah. So uh, if you've been keep, keeping your eye out for something, go back and check today. It might be there now. Yeah. So, so if you're someone who likes to have your card bases done for you, those fun folds, the Creative Craft products are brilliant. And of course, my showstoppers and tower cards that do yeah. similar ones as well. So very good. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got here the impossible cards. So whether you've made them by hand or you've got them, you know, um, in the dies, really quick, really easy to make really wow looking cards. These are just some other ones. Like I said, some might have sold, but just to give you an idea of what Creative Craft products does, and what you know look out for the future stepper cards different se uh, stepper there you got a center stepper curvy gatefold that was popular that sold out i think that might be one of the ones that's come back yeah um high center stepper there's so much and most of these dies will have a tutorial below so if you just scroll down on that product page you should see a video at the bottom and it will show you how to put a lot of them together and if yeah. not you can find most of them on my channel as well there we go. Right, let's make a card. Oh, I've just that's come out of the impossible card. I recognise that piece. I better keep that. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I thought I would pull out the lovely floral nostalgia collection. I'm going to use the ephemera. Now that I looked online before I went live, and there is some of this still available. But right. I'm going to use the ephemera pack, the paper pack, and the sentiment. You've also got a stencil, lovely textured stencil there, which I thought would make a great knitted jumper, Christmas yeah. festive jumper. And then you've got the beautiful, large, very, very large um, floral designs there, which I'm probably going to use more in the new year. So what I've done is I will be using the scoreboard for a little bit in a minute. I've got one bit I need to score. But I just want to talk you through what I've kind of cut here. So I've used the pattern paper there. Just there's some lovely backgrounds. You've got oh, wood grain, got like a linen, really, really pretty. Um, and then you've got some like watercolour blends there as well. So I've just taken the one that I wanted to use there and I've used the scallop. Let me just grab, go back to those ones there. Yeah, where are we? That's what I mean. You, when you have piles of stuff when you're doing these lives, Lou, you know all too well. Oh, yes. It's like, right, where did I put that one? Here we go. So you can see there, which one did I use this one? So I just want to show you the, the process. I've cut them all. But I just want to show you how you get this effect. So just need to line that one back up. There we go. So I've cut that one there um, in the pattern paper and in white cardstock and just stuck those together. So it's a nice, strong base now to the card. I've then cut it again. And I've just scored right through the center there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's going to act mm -hmm. as the back of the card. We'll stick that on later. Then what I did is I cut the large one and then i went to the inverted scallops to the same octagons so maybe you've got both and you didn't realize that you can use them this way this so, is what i love about creative craft products because we're i say we as in a collective team um they're all designed with the other older shapes in mind so they will fit and layer yeah. perfectly with each other i think that's brilliant yeah so there is the smaller one so what I did is I popped that in the middle, got a nice equal frame, popped some tape on it, and then I ran it through twice in white card and stuck that together. So it's given me this unusual looking frame now. And then I just cut the large one again with acetate and I stuck that behind there. Okay, so I've got my frame and this is the back piece. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna make, <laughs> again, some people are laugh, so they'll be like, oh yeah, she always does this. I'm gonna make some little springs. So I've got a bit of a thing about making these little springs at the moment. <laughs> so I have a little 3D card. So I've just yeah. cut myself here a piece of two and a quarter by two. And a long, I'm gonna do this on YouTube, by the way, so this will go on my channel, because I think it's a really sweet card. You wanna score at half an inch, one and a quarter, one inch, one and a half, 
one and three quarters and two. OK, so you can see how easy as well those got those little markers there are to follow, mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, whatever side you're looking at. And also, if you are someone that prefers using centimetres, if you've got a little bit of black ink or something or some paste, you can run that down. It will The black will go into all of the um, the debossed numbers. And then if you wipe the top with a cloth, you'll be able to see it will be highlighted in black. And you'll yeah, be able perfect. to see all of that um, yeah. there if you do struggle, you know, seeing it through the the plastic there. OK, so don't worry again too much about this, what I'm doing, like the folding. I'm going to do this again for YouTube. But I'm just going to create these little springs, which I've done on lots of cards at the moment on my channel. I'm just going to fold all that over. I've already done three there. I just want one kind of for each side. And then I'm just going to run my glue. Oh, way too much there. Let's just get rid of some of that down the side and then just close that over so you can see that i've just made these little springs and then i've just got some of the craft stash red tape again really really good do lots of different sizes and i just stocked up on a load of double-sided and foam tape that actually arrived yesterday so that was mm. nice or the day before so i've got all of my tapes again and again little tip and this was by a lady called Kath that gave me the idea. I've got a little tea, um, you know, cup holder. And on here, ah. I've got the blending brush. And I've got all my different double-sided tapes, foam tapes, red tape. And you know what? It's the best storage I've ever used for this because <laughs> I had them in a drawer. And now just having that at hand. So, yeah, if you're looking for just a easy way to have those kind of things stored i definitely recommend using a little tea hold teacup holder brilliant okay so now what i'm going to do is just take the because i want to stick these behind here so i'm just going to take the backing off um let's grab actually no i want to add my sentiment first so we'll pop a bit of foam on the back of this so i'm using the craft stash squares that lou showed earlier but my here so i'm just going to take one of those squares there and just pop that in the middle so i've already stamped the thank you sentiment from that set there and then like i said i've used the smallest scallop and then the filigree and i'm just going to pop this one in the middle like so and then i'm just going to put the backing and i'm just going to sit these just in those little gaps you just want to make them so that they fit behind the frame that you've got mm. they just fit in there oh. you, most of it's going to be hidden once i add that um all those pretty flowers and everything in a moment but again pretty quick card to do i know i've prepared this before but it didn't take me long probably about 15 20 minutes just to yeah. cut it all it's just simple cutting um it's always choosing your papers and stuff that take the longest oh yes <laughs> okay <laughs> then I'm just going to add glue onto these four here. This is just a quick little pop-up card. This will fit into an envelope box or you could push it down and it would fit into a um, a normal envelope as well. Yeah. So I've got that pretty much. Don't, Don't forget everybody right. to be commenting on the products we're showing you because I'm going to in, it's not actually long now, in a few minutes I'll be choosing a winner from both YouTube and Facebook each to win a £25 voucher to spend on Creative Craft products items. So uh, quickly get your comments in if you haven't already. I did write B for bottom there, but I've not stuck <laughs> thank you in the right one. So I'll change it all in a minute, it's fine. And then with all these pieces here, I'm going to just wrap, start wrapping them around the frame and just stick them Aww. down and i just thought i love the little toadstool yeah, they're gorgeous aren't they really really cute so let's how did i have i think i had the i had it laid out before i think maybe i had that one that was it and then i had that one around the top so let's just stick these down and again just all on the frame there so you don't need to worry about using like your red tape and stuff and you could add gems onto here you know really bling it up and all that kind of stuff but i just thought it was just a nice quick way to show you you know how to use the ephemera pieces 
but also just your simple nested you know even if you've just got plain shaped nested dies for the minute yeah. now you can still get really pretty effects let's do the flower down on this one and then the butterfly just shape that a little bit and have that one kind of in the middle there and then do i need that one maybe not no i think we'll leave that one out for now so you can see that i've just got a little bouncy frame and then i'm going to stick it and i'm going to have to probably change that because they're not symmetrical so you just need to move them around a little bit i might have to change that up but basically you'd add glue to that yeah and then that will stick below the bottom and you'll see your card will then stand oh. up could but i'm going to do up? a youtube sorry could you bring it up to the camera a little bit because we've got a little bit of fuzz going on so just so we can see it a bit clearer oh. when it gets close it's not too bad so lovely i, I think I that's gorgeous stunning thank you so much yeah. okay <laughs> i don't want to keep talking over you i'm like Has she finished <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> She's done. She's done. Oh, uh, lovely. Thank you so, so much. So their nesting dies, Sam's just run through lots and lots of different products for you. And the, um, I'm going to come off you, Sam. Do you want to give us a little wave before I um, leave you? There we go. Thanks, There's... everyone. Oh, wow. Her hands go really fuzzy when she... <laughs> sorry <laughs> no you're fine thank you so much sam you've been wonderful as always um hopefully you will get out of facebook jail very very soon but we can find you here and we can still join your mixed up craft group and such like and i know your mum's been updating people over there hasn't she yeah <laughs> thank you <Yeah. laughs> bye <laughs> oh bless her yes yeah. so sam's having some issues on facebook so if you do usually follow her um bear with her because she's just got to uh, wait to be allowed to manage her page again which is just naughty but she did talk about that, that at the beginning so if you're wondering what that's all about you've just joined us skip back and watch the beginning now um i've just got a few more items to show you but just to remind you if you are uh, just joining us we have got a 25 pound voucher to give two of you live today and that's in the next couple of minutes so i need you to very very quickly get your comments in on Facebook and on YouTube I'll choose one from each channel uh, just tell me what you love about creative craft products what you like from what you've seen today what you would like to have if you win the voucher because the voucher is going to be used to spend on uh, CCP creative craft products items okay so get your comments in I'm just going to show you the last few bits from the brand that I wanted to share with you so one thing I didn't show when I was showing the envelope and box, well, it's the scoreboard and the envelope and box maker as well, was this. Now, this did go out of stock very, very, very quickly when it first came out, and it's absolutely amazing. Now, if you imagine you are making yourself um, an envelope and you've got your basic shape there, um, what is going to make it look more professional than your corner punch? Can you see that? It's just curved that corner off. But also... You know where you have your corners of your envelope and you have your notches? So I'm just putting my paper in there. On the other side is your notches. Now, I think the best way for me, for me to explain that because on the back here we have an image of an envelope. Can you see that? If you imagine that image, you've got your curved peaks of your or corners of your paper, but you've also got where you do your folds, um, you've got your little notches as well. This tool very neatly does the corners and the notches for you. So if you are grabbing the scoreboard, it's well worth looking at the corner punch also under the same brand. So that was one I meant to mention to you earlier with those. Uh, a few other little things, um, not many now, but you may not have seen them. Um, we do have, um, as Sam mentioned, I think when we're talking about the stencil brushes, we do have the bigger brushes as well. They come in lots of different colours. So you've got a, rain a pack of rainbow colours basically within the pack. They're available. So they are going to work really well alongside your stencil brushes for the larger blended items. So such as your, big, your backgrounds and things. We have the low tack tape too. Now this comes three rolls of tape, one dispenser, and it's something crazy like 4 dollars I absolutely love it. I use it for sticking my stencils down. Um, I use it for um, just anything like holding your dies down when you're die cutting, and it comes off your paper really nicely without peeling it back. We have craft knives as well, if you love craft knives. This comes with spare blades too. 
I just put the um, lid on there really, really tight. But I like this because it's nice and lightweight. It's not too heavy. It hasn't got the rubber handle, which I actually prefer because I've got a bit of movement within my hand there. When you've got a rubber handle, sometimes I find it actually can get sticky and uh, if you're doing a lot of cutting, a little bit sweaty, clammy. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't. That's a really nice lightweight craft knife and with the spare blades as well. We do have things like the glue adhesive remover. That is a godsend. If you've ever seen me uh, get glue somewhere and then just, just do that to remove it, whether it's um, adhesive tape, a little bit of wet glue, whatever it is, this is brilliant for removing it. Um, spray glue as well. You know when you use your spray glue, you're repositionable. You spread like Sam did with her stencil and occasionally you get a little bit left on your project. That is going to take it straight up. It's not a normal pencil eraser, it is a, de a, a special material. And once the sides get really, really dirty, you can just use your scissors and trim them away and you're back to clean rubber again. Then you've got your uh, anti-static bag as well. Creative Craft Products do that. And this is the last one I wanted to show you today because this is really quite new. There is another video, again, online that you'll be able to see under the Creative brand but this is creative planners now i love 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 this it's absolutely beautiful if you don't already have yourself a diary or a planner for next year for 2023 honestly consider this look how beautiful this planner is i mean it's stunning isn't it so you've got in here plan to make it happen now this is going to be perfect for your craft plans but also for around the house as well things like that if you have appointments to take note of and such so we've got dividers that say plan they're foiled as well you've got your 23 calendar there you've got plan you've got organized notes and ideas now under the plan you've got everything that's a week per page you're going back to um the last week in december so if you do get it for christmas or give it for christmas gift it for christmas this is going to be perfect and just look that they're, they're absolutely stunning you've got the gold band there it does come with a pen holder as well i don't know where my pen holder is actually it's another thing i've lost i've got a really good habit of losing things did i stick it on here i don't think i did but you basically it's a pen holder and it's got adhesive on it and you can stick it anywhere you want so it depends where you prefer to have your pen holder so once you've gone through the week you've got all your notes books as well books pages as well um, you've got your organised to-do list, priorities, leave it for later, time to list, love that. I, I mean, I love a list. Who doesn't love a list? Um, you've got note sections, of course. You can put whatever you like on those. And you've got your ideas section too. And if you do think, well, that might not, look, doodles, if that might not be enough pages, you've also got the option to grab yourself the additional pages. So these are the plan, this is the plan of refill and you get all your notes section in there as well that you can slot in and because they are this special sort of slot in type pages there's probably a pr professional word for it they simply just slide you just slide them over the hooks there like so and you pop them anywhere you want them to be if you want to remove them you can easily take them out without damaging them so that is uh, under again the creative craft products brand as such it's the creative planners brand slightly different because it's a lovely pale green color that's probably my top pick for this christmas if you want to treat yourself okay i think that is lit well it's not everything there's so so much under the creative craft products brand that we would love to show you but sam and i only have an hour we are now at exactly 1 30 so i need to choose a winner first of all i'm on facebook um thank you so much for all your comments um let just go deborah evans deborah evans lovely idea with the inverted dies would never have thought of that thanks both for the great demos i've just liked your comment deborah and uh, if you're watching please email us because you've won yourself a 25 pound um creative craft products voucher we'll send that to you via email so email us and let us know that you are one of today's winners we don't need your postal address obviously just your email address let me flip over to YouTube and choose someone from here as well. Let the live chat catch up because I'm changing over to apps. So let's just see. Um, there we go. Okay, so I've randomly just clicked on somebody. Who's this? Um, Ursula W. Um, I'm not using planners, but this one might change my mind. Oh, well, I hope it does. It's stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Ursula 
as you like w if this is you please do let us know by emailing customer service at craftstash.co.uk uh, you have also won a 25 pound voucher thank you so much for watching and for commenting so thank you to all of you everybody uh, thank you to sam as well for joining us don't forget to go and check out the brand page for all of the tools check out the amazing prices and take advantage of this 20 percent off christmas items now to know what the christmas items these are against when you go onto the home page at craftstash the banner comes up straight away so simply click on that banner that will take you to a page that holds everything that's available with that code with 20 percent off okay hope you have a lovely weekend everybody thank you for joining us i hope you've enjoyed today's live it's a little bit different but we got through lots and lots of different products all of your core essentials so go and top these up next time you're purchasing your goodies make sure you put your essentials in your basket as well there's lots more to see we might need to do another show on it but i will see you all again uh come monday tuesday one of those days i'm sure um have a fantastic crafty weekend everybody bye bye for now